Merry Christmas and welcome back to Doc's Hot Shop and Forge and welcome to all the new subscribers. And if you're new here, I would be very grateful if you considered subscribing at the end of the video. So, today we're going to get a start on making the body of the axe that we're making the Damascus steel for. So I've got this piece of mild steel. Um, my steel rule seems to have disappeared again. Uh, which is uh, 230 millimeters long or 9 inches. It's a piece of 40 by 12, which is inch and a half by half inch. Now, the lines I've marked out are where I'm going to be fullering in to form the relief for the eye, so that when I weld the bit, I've got the eye ready punched, essentially. This will vary based upon the size of your drift, and the size of the axe head and the axe eye that you're making. I'm sizing this towards a 2 inch eye. Um, so your measurements will vary a little bit, um, but the piece that I'm leaving for the pole is uh, 30 millimeters, or approximately inch and an eighth, give or take a little bit. Um, and the section that I'm relieving that's going to be the inside of the eye is 80 millimeters or just over three inches. Um, so the way this will work is if you've got that one there, it'll be fullered in or really worked half on the anvil and then half on the anvil on the near side so that we end up with a full thickness section at the pole and in the bit. Um, realistically, this section of material here is what's going to become the walls of the eye. Now, I could probably make that a little bit bigger um, because I'm also making a new axe eye drift. This is a piece of H13. My current axe eye drift is Mystery Steel. It's held up reasonably well. It has produced a couple of spalls from the struck end, so I'm a little bit concerned about that. Um, so, piece of H13, this is 130 millimeters or 5 inches of 30 millimeters or uh, what is that, inch and 3 sixteenths, give or take a little bit. Um, so, the first thing I'm going to be doing with this is getting as concentrated a heat at one end as I can, and then I'll be upsetting it in the press so I can get about two centimeters of the mass into this end which will become the broad end and then the whole thing will be drawn out to 15 millimeters at the thick end thick um, So, if you look at an axe handle, you've got the cross section. So, I'm not aiming to use this. This is 20 millimeters by by 60, which is uh, three quarters by two and a half. But if you have that shape, so the size of the axe I, that I'm making will be approximately. 16 millimeters in this dimension, so almost that thick, and approximately I'm aiming for 50 millimeters, um, so about two inches in this dimension. So it'll be slightly smaller than this. Um, if I manage to upset enough material in, I might be able to get that. I don't think so. We'll see. Um, so the aim is to, when you forge these down, 
is to work it on the side so you leave one side curved because you've already got a round surface to play with and then draw it out to that you want to leave the body so this is the old one as you can see it's spalled there um, you want to leave this section as parallel as you can because you want the hourglass in the long axis and I've always considered this drift to be too parallel in this axis there's very minimal change it's like 14 to 12 or something like that it's just not that good a drift um, so we're aiming to make a better drift um, and this drift gives me approximately 40 millimeters or inch and a half and yeah it's 15, 14 at, at the broad end and tapers down to 12 millimeters or half an inch at the narrow end um, so I want a slightly better drift so let's get this thing hot get it squished down and uh, whilst that chunk is heating up and doing its thing, we'll also start working on the axe blank. And if there's time today, we will finish drawing out the um, Damascus steel, which is currently at this stage and needs to go down. So it's currently at about 18, uh, 16 millimeters thick. I want it down to about half, so it needs to go for another cycle, so, or two. So there we go. Oh, uh, that's also something I'd like to get done today. All right, let's get things hot. thing with presses is they tend to do most of their squishing in the middle so I'm actually going to end up with a bit of a, a skinny pole that I can draw out for a bit of a handle it won't be a proper handle handle but it will allow me to have something on both sides of an axe eye so that I can check for alignment a bit better It will, it just does not like it to move. It's a hot working steel. And it just doesn't move like chunks of hammer. So you can see why I use the press for the upsetting.
scale as you can see it's moving much easier. We want to go about halfway. About there. And then we'll get stuck on the other side, which we'll be doing on this edge. work at the edge of the anvil is to pull her in. Now because I use the edge of the anvil so I've got to offset just the tiniest little bit to account for that. a decent mark. Now this fuller that I'm using is actually mild steel so anything will work and that gives you a nice clean set off so that you can much easier find it at the edge of the anvil. Well, 
flux in there. but I need to double its length so I can give it a fold and then re-weld. I just want to get the layer count up just a little bit more. This would get it up to a nominal 108. It'll be less because there's losses to grinding, but anyway. Getting it 
nice and flat. that I didn't intend to weld all the way to the end so um, yeah we're gonna have to slip that and straighten things out and get the eye sorted we might do that first
we can eventually give that wedge in there. further in though. So I'm going to do something moderately dangerous. I'm going to leave this in. I'm going to use it as a stop so I don't have the thing shooting out. That is hot. That is a lot of heat. long day uh, we have an axe the drift works really well so you can see it leaving quite a significant gap still have a little bit of refinement left on to do on the the eye but the axe drift works really well the Damascus is welded in um, so now I have to draw it out, um, I have to trim off a little bit here uh, because it's too long and draw out the, um, the beard properly and grind it and finish it. Um, yes it looks like the weld didn't quite take up here near the eye but that generally doesn't matter all that much. Um, I have managed to keep it reasonably uniform. There's a little bit of mushrooming, uh, mushrooming on this side. So, that's what I'm going to leave off. Um, there will be a little bit of an update a bit closer to Christmas on um, how the axe came out. Um, hopefully I can get the beard out to draw out to about that length. Looking for that, just a little bit more than what's up there at the moment. And I can't use the back of this because it's forged down for the the welding. So look out for that. Um, once again, Merry Christmas! Um, and if you've enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. Feel free to share on social media. And if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. When you do, ring the notification bell don't always upload on a regular schedule. Um, it is what it is. So get out to your shop, have fun, but do take the time to be with family and to enjoy Christmas. And I'll catch you for the next one.